Hey guys, welcome back at the This Is All Skate Shop YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a review of the USD Aeon series. I'm going to go through the history of the USD Aeon skate, go through all the different models that are coming out, tell you my honest opinion about it, and everything you can tweak and change about it. So if you want to learn more about the USD Aeon, continue watching this video. USD is a part of the PowerSlide brand. So underneath the PowerSlide umbrella is MyFit, Wicked, and some other uh, brands like Undercover. These are all um, owned by the same owner. Um, it, this is a German-based company. The, the distribution is also in Germany. And what sets all these brands apart is that uh, they're very innovative brands. Um, the same goes for USD. USD started in 1997 and they brought out a lot of different models every year. And uh, these models at the beginning started to get co more complicated and more complicated, more changeable parts, uh, slidable sole plates, uh, like suspension frames. It went through the roof and at a certain point the skates got so complicated that uh, the market kind of said, please stop it. Uh, this was uh, the USD legacy model. It was uh, kind of a flop and USD learned from this. So after the flop of the USD legacy model, USD started to rethink what a skate needed to, to be. And they went from having the most complicated skate to one of the most simple skates on the market naming the USD Aeon. They redraw and uh, tossed out all the old rules that were common knowledge in designing a skate because this skate, the USD Aeon, uh, has a frame that's non-removable and a sole plate also that's non-removable, which is uh, kind of revolutionary in a way because uh, yeah, all other skates do have removable parts. I'll tell you the reason why they did this later in this video. So the USD Aeon model comes in a few different editions. Let me run through what sets these editions apart. The biggest difference is the wheel size because you have the Aeon 60, the Aeon 72 and the Aeon 80. Uh, all these different editions use the same mold for the, the upper part of the skate. So this part of the skate, but the frame can uh, Kind of like they have a different insert in the mold which changes the the size of the frame for all these different additions um, then there's a few other minor differences is that some of the additions come with a soft top another big difference is the liners in the different additions you have the use the aeon basic which is the cheapest model and it has a stock usd liner uh, that's why it's also the cheapest and then the more expensive model come with a uh, USD MyFit line. The USD Aeon always comes with the same buckle, except for the current May Mary Moones Pro Skate. It co actually comes with a metal buckle, so that's really nice. Uh, and then the, uh, it changes in the wheel size, but there's also right now uh, a USD Aeon Team Skate, which comes with the metal core wheels. So that's also a big quality difference in the wheels. So the base of the shell is the same, but there's different additions for different wheel sizes, different qualities, different buckles and different liners. And of course it comes in different colors. But overall, the USD Aeon is a great skate. The USD Aeon Basic is going to remain the same for the next couple of years, so it, it will always be in stock. But all the other skates here on the table will probably change like every year. Uh, like now Nick Lomox has a gray pro skate, but maybe next year he'll have like a blue one or like the, the, the colors of all these uh, additions always change. Right now I'm going to go through all the different parts of the USD Aeon and what makes it unique. 
And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna summarize all the things that you can tweak and customize on the skate. The first and the most important part of a skate for you personally is of course how it will fit your foot. And just to tell you that the length of the skate is very true to size. So if you have uh, like a 44, just take the, the 44 Aeon. Um, the width is fairly wide, not really wide, but it's, it's okay wide. And the height at the toe is not that high, but here in the middle of the skate, uh, the shell is pretty open. So it has room uh, for a, a high foot there. The UC Aeon comes in double sizing, which is, uh, how actually all hardwood skates work, meaning that the size 41 and the size 42 use the same shell. Other skates kind of like lie about it and portray it as if it would be a different skate, but the USD Aeon bundles these two, these, these two sizes together and uh, advertises it as the true double sizing. I am happy to be a part of that because I wrote a long email to PowerSlide in 2015 and it was thanks to that email that PowerSlide changed the sizing of the Aeon to this double sizing system. The skate has a flat bottom boot, meaning if you take out the liner and the shock absorber, it's just flat at the bottom. And the uh, heel raise is due to there being a big, chunky shock absorber in it, which is really nice and cushioning. You, cannot really change this shock absorber, you can, but it's kind of like a, a special shape. So it's really hard to put in a different type of shock absorber in the skate. So I do not re recommend it. The one that's in it right now in the current models is, uh, is, is uh, great. Uh, before in the first Aeon models, it was a lot thinner. I think they changed it in 2020. So the first couple of years, uh, it was just a thin shock absorber in the skate and then in the box, there was like an extra shock absorber and it was kind of meant to be put underneath the liner once you install the skates and uh, put in the laces and if you just bought it before you, you go out and skate it. But hardly anybody did that. Um, and with this causes people to lean more backwards than they would normally do. And um, uh, so I'm happy they, they, they changed this to uh, just one integrated shock absorber. Next topic is the liner. As I already said, the USD Aeon Basic comes with a USD liner, and then the others come with a MyFit liner. Uh, especially the Basic liner breaks in a lot. So if you just first put in your foot and it feels really pressured, uh, rest assured it will reshape through your foot and uh, uh, the padding will actually shrink from this liner. For the MyFit liners, this also happens, but you can accelerate that process by taking out the liner, putting it in the oven, heating it up, putting it back in, put your foot in it and let it cool. By heating the liner, the foam will become soft. And if it cools off, it will become hard again. And then it's adjusted to your foot. One big downside to the MyFit liners is that in the current editions, this thing here works like a, a, a carrier and it does not work to pull on your skate. So if you're trying on the skates and you pull on it, it will break. We get a lot of warranty claims for it. So if you want to keep it intact, don't pull on it. Uh, next part is the cuff. They actually changed the cuff uh, a couple of times already. This is the, the third type of cuff they had. Uh, and I'm not really sure what the improvement is between this cuff and the previous one. Uh, it's a totally new, uh, new look. It looks like it's a little bit higher. And one cool thing about it is that it's in height adjustable. So you can uh, flip this little spacer here and then put it back on and then it's uh, lower to the ground. The, between the first and the second edition cuff of the, of the old series, uh, a lot of people had a pressure point and they took off a little bit of plastic on the second condition to relieve that pressure point. Of course, you can also change the cuff if you want to just change the color. We here at This Is Soul Skate Shop have black and uh, white cuffs uh, available. So you can just order that on our web shop or come by here in our store in Amsterdam and just pick it up. 
one issue that I have with this third type of cuff that, uh, that they, they have uh, is that the flaps on it, these two parts underneath the buckle, are really long. So if you want to tighten the cuff as tight as possible, um, then for me, these flaps, they are actually so long that I cannot, that, that it reaches the max. And uh, for if you ha also have that problem, if you, if you get the skates or, or try these skates, um, I advise you just to cut off like a few centimeters of these flaps and that will like solve this problem. Next topic is the forward flex and it's really relatable to the cuff as well. And I think for me personally that the USD Aeon has for me too much forward flex. So when I put it on, I almost feel like I'm falling forward in them. Um, there's just like hardly any support forward. I like there to be a little bit more uh, but that could just be my reference of how I use this skate on the skates that I use this skate. But if there would be a spectrum in forward flex, they use the Aeon and also the uh, bar side next. They're definitely on the most flexiest side of that spectrum. If you want to change the, the, the flex of the skate, you can also just like put an entirely different brand cuff on it. For the 43 to the biggest shoe size, you can put on a racer's cuff. And for the like 38 to 42 sizes, you can put on a Seva or FR brand cuff. So as I said, it's really hard to close this cuff. And then it doesn't help that the buckle that's used on most of the skates is really a weak buckle. Uh, it's a plastic buckle and there's a little bit of a breaking point here. And that means that if you close it, that uh, the buckle might bend a little bit. It also uh is able to break there that's why i would advise everybody to put on a metal buckle if it's if you don't have the mary Moonis model like this one has already a metal buckle but um like the racers metal buckle or the fr metal buckles would really improve the, the ability to close the skate there's also an ankle buckle on some of the skates or an ankle strap for me personally the ankle strap doesn't really do anything that much except for getting in the way when you want to tighten your laces so i would just advise people to actually take off the ankle ankle strap if you have like a velcro strap there uh of course if you like it it's your choice but uh that's just my opinion um i like the look of the skate also a lot better if it doesn't have the ankle strap and then i really think it's cool that the for example this use the Aeon Nick Lomax here or the Aeon Basic has these lace hooks and they can like replace the function of the of the ankle buckle or the ankle strap there because with these you can like um, tighten them extra hard with the laces themselves and uh, that also works really good. Next topic are the frame and also the wheels. The frame is what really sets the USD Aeon apart from all other skates on the market right now. And uh, being an aggressive skate meant for grinding, there's always this balance between being able to ride good and being able to grind well. And for riding good, you really want to have four big wheels. And for grinding good, you actually don't want to have any wheels at all because wheels just get in the way when you're grinding. To solve that problem, uh, people used to take out just the middle wheels or some people still do that. They just only ride on two wheels. But it's always a struggle to, to have this space here in the middle of the frame that's called the groove um, and still have four wheels. And one of the problems with it is that where the frame is mounted to the boot, there's these two mounting holes and these holes are filled with bolts and the bolts stick out a little bit and these make it that the middle wheels cannot go outwards as much as you would like to. So if you design a skate, you're kind of like constrained by the place where the frame is mounted to the boot. Because this skate doesn't have any mounting bolts, they could place the wheels wherever they want it in the design and make a really big groove in the middle while still having four wheels. So this is kind of like a unicorn skate. It's one of a, 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 a one of a kind. There's no other like it. 
because of this unique unibody design. Some people, however, uh, didn't want this system of uh, the unibody uh, design and they, they cut off the frame and it's actually uh, possible to mount a UFS frame on this. UFS is uh, the mounting standard used the, the most for aggressive skating. I throw in a lot of terms like this UFS term or uh, other terms that I might have used already. If there's anything that I'm saying which is confusing, please check out our YouTube channel because I have an entire video just about uh, frame mounting and just about buckles and about all the different parts of, of, of the skate. I have a video, a dedicated video about that. So if you want to learn more about all these topics, just subscribe to the channel and uh, check out all the videos we made in the past. Another thing that people did is not put a, a UFS frame on the boot, but to put an entire Kaiser sole frame on it. Here it is. This is the Kaiser sole frame and you can attach it with the bolts here on the side. You have to shave off the, the the frame and uh, my friends Jordi and Jesse made an entire video on how to do this so there's, there'll be a link in the description to their video if you want to learn more about that. Last topic is the wheels. Um, these are just like the stock quality wheels meaning that they're not the best wheels on the market but uh, but they'll, they're fine. So the, the wheels that come with these skates are just fine. If you want to upgrade it it's possible um except for the usd aeon theme i think it's the xx1 so that means that's like roman for 2021 it comes with the uh, undercover apex wheels which have a metal core and the metal core wheels are always a lot faster so this is really an exception that usd team skate um but all the other ones don't worry too much about like the, the, the A-back of the bearings or the hardness of, of, of the wheels or the quality. These wheels are just fine. And uh, my advice is to just wear them down. And if, if they're worn down, just replace them with some good quality wheels. So these are all the different uh, parts that I just mentioned. Now, let me run through all the things you can customize on this skate if you want to improve it. If you want to improve the fit of the skate, you can heat mold it if you have uh, a MyFit liner. You can just break it in, of course, if you have the UC Aeon uh, basic liner. Or if you want to have a really uh, high performance liner, then my advice is to get an intuition liner. If you want to close the skate to the max, then be sure to cut off the flaps on the cuff and change the buckle to a metal one. I put in a Superfeet uh, sole in all my skates because it increases the performance a lot. And the last thing you can customize is of course put better wheel, wheels in the skate. So that's it. Now you know everything there is to know about the USD Aeon skates. If you consider buying one, the best advice I can give you is to come by our store, of course, here in Amsterdam and to try them on. If you cannot try them on, then um, uh, you can order it on our website and we can do a size swap if the size is not good, of course. Um, thank you for watching till the end. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel because you obviously liked it. Otherwise, you wouldn't still be here. Uh, we make a new video like this every week. So I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. In this review, I'm gonna run through the history of the USD Aeon. Maybe I shouldn't have <laughs> I list. Ah, just grab that part. I was uh, rambling too much. By hitting it, the padding will uh, be. God damn it! No, that's not it. I lost it. Can we cut it off there? No. Okay, I'll, I'll finish it. Come like a gel, and that. Oh no. I lost my ability to speak. That wasn't so hard.